Hey everyone, doing another video here. It's been a while since I've done one, but I uh, wanted to kind of show some pointers on me doing a dropped spindle. A couple things I just couldn't find a uh, right video on. So I've already done both sides, but I'm uh, left this one up as a dummy right here so we can kind of dig into it and let you see what's going on. This is for removing the spindles on a, this is a 72 pan with a 74 uh, suspension on it. So they're all about the same. They'd give you an idea of what's going on. So what I'm doing is I'm going from a stock to a drop, which buys me about two and a half inches of body drop on this car. So we'll get right to it. Um, this little nut right here, this on this side is the correct thread. On your other side, keep in mind, it is reverse threaded. Okay, so don't go righty tighty lefty loosey. It's gonna be opposite. Um, this right here holds this whole assembly on. It's a little six millimeter Allen wrench right there. Once you loosen this, this free spins. Before you free spin it, count how many turns it takes to get this off. You'll need that to make sure you get your right setting back on this, not too tight, not too loose. On mine, it was 10. So I'm gonna loosen this up and then just make sure where it goes. Now inside here, you have, of course, your washer, your outer bearing and seals all sitting in here. You don't have to take this apart. Um, you can pull all this out in one. This does have a notch on it, so it will only fit in one direction, one way. So when you go to put it back on, make sure you pay attention of where the notch is at, in this case, right here. So we're gonna pull this off. All you do is give it a little tug, and it comes right off. Now for here, all of it stayed in, so um, I would recommend, in this case I'm going to pull all this out, pull the grease out, make sure the seals are good, and uh, repack it all before putting it back together. So here, this is brake drums, I didn't upgrade to the disc, the car is already so light as is when I went to this body type, but see the spindle sitting in here, this is the new one, I haven't taken out all the old grease yet, but uh, when I do, this will all be nice and red greased in here. So. You have sitting in here is your inner spin, your inner bearing. I waited to take this off because um, you do have to get a little force on it because it presses in pretty hard. But I left it on first and then came back and took these three bolts off. That let me take the drum housing, the rear drum housing off. I did not have to take the brake line off. Okay. What I did was pull those three bolts, pulled this off, and just set it on top of the box so it wasn't putting any strain on the brake line. That gave you access to this entire spindle. Once you had access to this, I went ahead and took all of the steering upper and lower arms, took those off. Point for sure. Even though this one looks nice and easy to get to and all you have to do is whack it with a hammer one time, don't do it. So you need a pickle fork. If you don't know what a pickle fork is, there you go. You can pick one up from an auto store somewhere. Get a pickle fork in here, slam it in, break it off. It went well on the other side. This side, of course, I said, oh, I can just hit that with a hammer. And ended up having to grind off the bottom of it because it bit the threads too much. And this bolt in here will spin freely so trying to re-thread it is a nightmare so I just ended up sanding it off but anyway these on the bottom all of these are 19 millimeter nuts here and here washers go behind it so take off the oh don't I'm sorry loosen each one okay don't take any off completely get your pickle fork in there coming at the side between top and bottom, slam your pickle fork, pickle fork in, and get it broken up. Now, while you do that, you are going to need to have these boots. So, top, bottom, and steering arm, because you're going to ruin these right here, and it's a good idea to always replace them anyway. I just ordered mine from uh, J-Bugs and got them in here in a couple of days. Once you have all of these loose and they're moving freely, I then took the nuts off, all three of them, put them aside, and this whole spindle gets free now. So, your spindles, um, the drop spindles I bought were from online, and uh, they came pretty nice and packaged. All nice and set up. 
this just whole assembly right here, you'll have this, this arms, all are gonna come out of the unit. Then for the new one, put it back in. Now remember, once you put this new one back in, you're gonna need an alignment because this right here is gonna adjust your toe in, toe out. You're gonna adjust your steering, make sure that you're not uh, out of alignment now with the new spindle. Put it back in. I just lifted this arm with a little force. Had the bottom one sitting in right here. Just kind of put it in just loosely. Lifted this until it fit in, and then of course do the reverse. Um, you'd already place the boots. The boots are kind of a nightmare to work on. Um, this is what happens after the pickle fork. It just destroys it. This little spring that holds it down, um, I just used a small screwdriver, placed it on one side, then inched the screwdriver around until it sits. This, and there's a little edge right here on the edge of that, so you can see you're going to sit that spring in here. That fits inside of a little notch, metal notch, that's on this arm, okay? So you got to get those lined up. You're going to tell if it doesn't because as soon as you try to move that uh, bolt, you're going to see it either break free or not. Key for these also, which was a good point that I hadn't heard before, make sure they're not too filled with grease. Put a little grease in there, make sure the air's out, because if this is inflated too much, okay, see how squished it is right here just by putting the arm on? If you put too much grease in here, it's either gonna pop at the bottom, or worse, pop up here at the top. And if it pops here, it's either gonna crack it, or pop that spring off, and then you're doing everything again. So, I packed it with some grease, made sure to push it up against this arm right here. Got all the excess grease out, excess air out, and then put this on, okay? Put too much grease in here, you're gonna run into an issue. So once those are back on and tightened back up, I can't remember what the torque was right now off the top of my head, you can find it in the book. Um, then it was just a matter of putting everything back together. I put pulled the brakes back to the front, bolted them in, I'm going to get in here, clean all this up, repack, repack, slide this drum back on, count my spins, lock it down with that 6 millimeter Allen nut, and then I should be good to go. I'll give you a picture of the side that's completed already, and that's over here. So, you see everything's kind of cleaned up. There's your locking ring right here. Brakes came in, and this two and a half inch drop moved the spindle center from here between these two arms two and a half inches up behind this arm right here. So it gives you a lower profile on the front. So, if you got any questions, let me know. It's just kind of a flyby of uh, spindle removal. Hopefully got some good pointers and helped you guys out. Thanks.